and in this question uh, it's already solved as I said and it has uh, three requirements and we have this uh, graph here and um, you can see here we have the reals how many we have spent and how much we have spent and how many months and this is the time this is the money and according to the S curve that this is the expenditure of the project and the question says if the planned cost of, comp uh, of completion after 12 months is uh, this much Omani Reals, 420,000 Omani Reals, what should be the BCWS during the six months? So we can get this one from the, uh, it could be interpolated from the question itself, from the graph itself, because this is a six month and we can draw a line from here and it will intersect with this line or with this row from the money and you can get like something like 320,000 uh, Omani Rias that we have spent so far because this is the expenditure against the time and he wants uh, the what should be the baseline cost baseline cost uh, of work schedule so cost baseline cost the planned cost against the time planned also Okay, so we can get it from the uh, from the graph itself. And the second question it says that if the BCWP at the point at that point at this point, which is the sixth month, uh, which is the sixth month, is uh, five hundred thousand, calculate the SPI. So the SPI, SPI is the BCWP five hundred thousand over that what we have got here, which is three hundred twenty thousand. And we will get the information directly. The value will get it directly. It will be something like 1.56 to 5. And if, if the BCWP at that point is, uh, sorry, this is a question. Calculate the number of days by which this project shall be delayed. And how many, it should be, uh, the question, I think it's not, it shouldn't be like how much this project should be delayed because you need to know whether it's ahead of schedule or behind schedule. So we just want to know uh, to calculate the the schedule uh, time uh, at completion or completion time so we'll go and get the, the number of, of days or how many months that we have uh, it should be like uh, 300 uh, 365 days which is one year because we have one year here okay and uh, or 12 months okay then afterwards you have to divide it by uh, 1.56 uh, uh, which we got in the in the above question 1.5625 and we will get 233.6 days 233.6 days so it's direct uh, solution for the question but if we want to know how many days this shall be delayed if we if we really mentioned this one I, I don't like to be this one to be mentioned in the question because you need to know that we, whether this project will be delayed or not okay uh, but if we have this, if we have this, uh, how many, how many, uh, how many days? It's not, be, it's not delayed in fact because the 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 value is positive, so it's earlier, in fact, so it's not delayed. And also, uh, if we want to know how many days earlier, not delayed, uh, you have to subtract from the uh, original duration. So the original duration, twelve months, and that means three hundred sixty-five days. 365 days minus 233.6 two, two, uh, days or 233.7 let's say 230 sorry 234 days you will get 130 132 days earlier this project will be finished so these are the days uh, of the completion okay and if you want how many days earlier this project will be completed you have to deduct this amount from the days of the year which we will assume uh, as uh, 365 days so this is with regards to the um, uh, to the class of today uh, and we have finished uh, the cash flow forecasting which is chapter 3 and inshallah next uh, next week we'll have uh, next uh, class we will have chapter 4 payment uh, certificate see you there inshallah and thank you very much for watching Okay, so let's go get uh, uh, the second uh, information that we need and here we need the CPI and the CPI is like BCWP over ACWP and we have all these information so it will be 0.91 
Then the SV also we require the SV BCWP minus BCWS uh, 250,000 minus uh, 320,500,000 uh, and we will get the uh, this value okay 70,500 and these are the information that we require and you can continue uh, the same thing for the other gaps you need to fill or you need to find the uh, value for it and this uh, it's just like a, a direct question and you can just like apply the formulas and the numbers you have all the numbers that uh, you have it directly you can get the values and for the second question that we have as we, as we said uh, the sorry for the third question which says that uh, time uh, completion uh, time at completion or completion time for the project we have six million over as we said we will take it, this one the CPI we will take it from from the uh, CPI that we that we have got which is 0.91 so 6 million over 0.91 will be like 6 million 593 for 406 uh, million uh, real so uh, the estimate completion date will be the original duration over the SPI so we have 20, 27 days uh, and will be over the point the 0 0.78 SPI because I've told you that this uh, question three is related to the uh, above question which is question two and we are uh, measuring this one on six on the month six we are ex estimating the uh, completion uh, date so we will get like uh, 34.6 months okay so maybe the question will come to you and ask you about days so you have to just uh, change these uh, these months into days so for 34.6 months how many days uh, it will mean and you, you can assume that the year is 365 days okay so we can go now next to the next uh, now to, we can go to the next question the question said that assume a work package is expected to be finished in five days at a cost of uh, 100 uh, 1500 reals on the fifth day uh, you are only 20 to two-thirds uh, complete on the fifth day that means that it should be the final day or the last day of the project but in fact you are checking the projects you find that you have completed or finished two-thirds of the of the project and you have consumed or spent uh, 100 uh, 1350 Oman reals so you need to calculate the cost of uh, at completion and time for completion so the cost at, at completion Uh, uh, we are two thirds of the project, so we are two thirds of the project. That means that, uh, uh, and uh, how much we have spent uh, so far, uh, 1,500, which is the cost of the project or the budget of the project, to, uh, into two thirds will be 1,000. So we have, we have, uh, 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 according to the baseline cost of work performed, we have spent so far 1,000 reals over the actual cost of work performed, which is. 1,350 1, reals we will get the 0.74 uh, 0.74 the CPI why we want CPI because we want the cost at completion as uh, the, uh, the question requires so this is why the original cost will be uh, as it's mentioned 1,500 over 0.74 will be 2,025 uh, 2,025 uh, reals that this is the cost of uh, at completion so we have the budget that means that we have uh, estimated the cost of this project or we have budgeted the, uh, the, the, uh, the, this project uh, of about 1,500 1, reals. However, this project is expected to be completed at the cost of or at the budget of 2,025 uh, Omani uh, reals. Then afterwards, we, we need, according to the question, it requires the time for completion also. So uh, the time for completion it is the SP. Uh, it is time at completion. We have this formula: the original time over the SPI. So the SPI, as we have here, the baseline cost of work performed over the baseline cost of work scheduled, and we have all these information. So we'll get the uh, 0.666. So original time. It should be five days. We said in the, in the question, and we have 0.66, which is the SPI. 
and we will get 7.5 days which means uh, approximately eight uh, days until the completion of the project so we expect we have uh, uh, we had planned to complete this but that means we had co planned the uh, to complete this project within five days now according to the progress that we have uh, uh, at the fifth day uh, I th we think that or we estimate or expect that this project will end on the eighth day okay so now we can go for the last for the last uh, question it is already solved uh, solved itself in fact and so we have here uh, the cost variance because the question is asking us about the uh, on the first uh, uh, row so, which is the sixth month we we need we have the cost variance but we have the bcwp baseline cost of work performed we need this one we need the cpi we need the sv schedule variance and we need the spi so we can check on this one we have the cv which we, which is like bcwp minus icwp which means we have this one um, negative twenty-five thousand equals bcwp which we want then afterwards minus 27 uh, 27 and the amount will be uh, bcwp will be 250,000 uh, 250,000 for the bcwp hi welcome again in our third online classes on construction management and today we're gonna have some solutions for some of the exercises that we have here and this is the first exercise and before we start uh, solving this uh, example I just want you to go back to stop this video and go back for the for the online second class to check on the topics that we have covered last time and revise uh, formulas then afterwards try to come back here stop the video and try to solve this yourself before I solve it for you okay so now we have this uh, question or example here it's uh, a project that has uh, checks over the uh, three times during the life cycle of the project this is in the sixth month the tenth and twenty third and we have these informations and you are required to fill in the blanks here and you get these uh, values uh, according uh, or by making use of the formulas that uh, you know and then after you finish this these informations after you calculate these all all these informations and you get the numbers here with with the signs like here you have negative sign okay then afterwards you can you, you can answer these questions according to the information that you have uh, at the end of the of month 10 it's a project ahead or behind schedule so we have month 10 from uh, if, if he's talking about the schedule so you need to check on the schedule variance or, or uh, the SPI and I will show you now uh, how can we how can we calculate all these informations and get values here uh, in these gaps so uh, but since we have the, the information here already it's available it's given uh, by the by the question so it's a negative so when said that we said that when we have a negative uh, value for the schedule variance that the, that means that the project is behind schedule so uh, therefore we expect here to have something uh, which is less than one because we said less than one uh, means uh, that the schedule that the that the project is behind schedule at the time of of the of the uh, measurement so what's the estimate com uh, at completion of the project at the end of the m of month six if the original estimate is six million Oman reals so month this is the month six so uh, he's asking here about what he's asking here about the estimate at completion and he's talking about money so we are looking for for something which is related to cost and he needs cost at completion and we said cost at completion it is like in here final uh, cost estimate which is which mean which is uh, original cost estimate and it's given all already in the in the question with which is six million Oman reals and uh, divided by the CPI so we have to get the CPI for this 
for this one. Uh, so let's go. Uh, well, I will show you how to get this one, the CPI. But this is the the, the solution how you get it. Then afterwards, what is the what is the estimate, the time to completion? Uh, if this project's original time schedule was 27 months, so you are doing the check. So this this question is related to this question uh, um, over it. So uh, the this question above it says that we are doing the, our check or our uh, uh, monitoring on the month six. So from month six we can get the information and we can come here and say that the schedule variance. Uh, sorry, final schedule estimate will be original estimate which is 27 is given here, 27. Then afterwards, uh, over the SPI on the sixth month. Uh, so let's go and check uh, how can we solve uh, this question.